Hey, what's up, family? Peace, love, and positive thinking. This is Guru. Today's topic is going to be about the scandals surrounding the birth of a nation, but more importantly, it's the backlash against the writer, creator, and producer, Nate Parker. Nate Parker, back in 1999, while attending Penn State, got involved with a female associate, um, a fellow student, him and his uh, roommate um, went out with the girl, they had a few drinks, and apparently from what we've heard is that they went back to uh, Nate's apartment and proceeded to have some sexual encounters. Um, they were supposedly drunk, or at least had been drinking, and um, the way this story unfolds is... Uh, the girl um, claims that she was raped and uh, we find out from a taped telephone call the transcripts that everything that happened was a mutual uh, situation um, especially when we find out on page three that the girl had uh, one of the guy's dicks in her mouth and you can't participate and do those things. I would imagine you couldn't do those things if you were truly unconscious or uh, totally drunk. So uh, there's just some things that don't fit in this story. And um, there's the backlash, though, is something that I want to talk about because I think it's really important that we discuss these things. First of all, I just got finished reading an article uh, by Vulture. I think it was Vulture where... There was a panel of about uh, three or four females and uh, one male uh, speaking uh, their opinions about Nate Parker. And every just like assholes, everybody has an opinion, right? And so, of course, I'm going to give mine right now, too. Um, but um, from when I read the article online, the one thing that kept screaming out at me was the fact that each person kept referring to this alleged person as, quote, the victim. She was an accuser, not a victim. Nate Parker was found not guilty by a jury after going to trial for this accusation. He was found not guilty, and for a black man to be found not guilty especially with the rape charge against a white woman, obviously there was no rape. And so in the court of public opinion, we have all these assholes and their opinions out here making a big deal about nothing. Okay, rape is not, I don't mean rape isn't nothing. Rape is serious. It really is. As a matter of fact, while we're on the subject, let's talk about the seriousness of rape. On the college campuses, we always read about these sports teams, mostly white, who are committing rape against a lot of white females on these college campuses, and they get brushed under the rug. And so here we have a case, a 17-year-old a, a case against a black man who is about to produce one of the most astounding movies of all time, The Birth of a Nation, and right before its release, the powers that be, or conspiracy theorists, I don't care what you want to call them, whatever label you want to call them, those people went out searching for something on Nate Parker, and from my, what I understand is that there was this backlash when he did the movie The Great Debaters, but I didn't hear about it. Hardly anyone heard about it, but yet you hear people parakeeting that phrase that, oh no, they, it happened and they just brushed it under the rug then. Well, Nate Parker's been doing other things though, and there were other times that this could have been brought up. So the timing is very suspicious, is very suspect. So those of us who are calling that out, we have every reason, every reason to call that out. 
It is very suspect. And so you have the seriousness of rape. I don't want to get away from that. You have all these college campuses where you have all these sports jocks raping these girls and then they don't get charged. Well, the difference is they're white. So when you're white, you don't have to pay the price. That's what it seems. Case in point, David Becker at a Palmer, Massachusetts, was just recently sentenced for raping two victims. Now, these are two victims. If you want to talk about the word victim, vulture.com, I want to give you some victims that you could write an article about and you can really call them victims. Okay? Two women out of Palmer, Massachusetts were raped by David Becker, an 18-year-old white boy who got away with it because the judge felt sorry for him and sentenced him to two years probation, no jail time. And when black men like myself and others, when we hear injustice like this, and white America, you don't do anything about it. You just keep pointing your fingers at black people and black crime. It's disgusting. It's filthy. It smells of poo. So when you want to talk about rape and you really want to have that discussion then I think you should have it at the appropriate time and at the appropriate platform and using the appropriate examples when you want to talk about rape. Don't use people like Nate Parker just because he was accused. And by the way, let's talk about that accuser. Sad to say that after 13 years after the case, she committed suicide. But there were many reports that she also suffered from depression. This was before her involvement with Nate. And if people do research, you would find those things out. Secondly, I keep hearing about this accuser and I've yet to hear her name one time in the media. To me, it sounds suspect. It sounds like a made-up story almost. I know it's not, but you're sure making it seem that way. If she's dead, why can't you release her name? What's the problem? You guys do this to black people all the time, and we're so sick of it. So I just want to say to my brothers and sisters out there, you can choose with all your, all your judgmental attitude and everything like that to not support Nate Parker, especially some of you black women out there. I've, I've read some of your, your positions on it. And to me, it seems like several of you, quite a few of you are taking it quite personal. And if you've been raped before, I can say this, that I am so, so sorry for you from the bottom of my heart. I feel so sorry for you that you were violated. But don't take your anger or your hurt or your bitterness out on Nate Parker. At the crossword roads right now that black America faces, especially with the, with the um, upcoming election, and we have candidates that we have to choose from who are not even worthy of our votes, right? Not even worthy of our, vote, of our votes. They haven't really earned our votes or have given us reasons why we should give them our votes. We've gotten so complacent that we haven't really ask for much 
And so with that in mind and seeing that Nate Parker needs our support, especially when you know the facts, and if you've read the transcripts like I have, I've read all 16 pages of, of the telephone transcripts, so, you know, don't say that I don't know. I, I've read the transcripts just like you have, and we found out that she felt bad because she couldn't remember a thing because she had been drinking too. She agreed to go back to their apartment, and things happened. And most youngsters, and you've been through school, you know what it's like. Consensual is consensual. Yes means yes, and no means no. But if you got a dick in your mouth like she had, you're not trying to say no. You're not, if you're participating in events, you're not trying to say no. And when you come up pregnant, from the situation, you don't try to pass the buck or pass blame and start blaming other people and then saying that you were raped. It just doesn't work that way. And so, I'm not going to continue and make this longer any longer, but I just want to throw my two cents out there. But before I go, there's one last thing. I just want to say this because I, I know throughout our history, there's been many, many white women who have made the charge against black men that they were raped when they were not. So let's not pretend that that is not a part of our history or that it doesn't exist. Let's not pretend that that's not a part of our history or that it doesn't exist. So with that said, let's not pretend like just because she's a white girl that we're believing everything she says just because she said it. In other words, black women out there who are supporting her 100%. Like I said, she had a history of depression before she even met them. So, and who knows what else? Because we can't do any research or find out because we don't really know her name, right? And so we're just going on hearsay right now. But let's not pretend that she could be lying all the way through that she could be lying again he was found not guilty and not guilty does not make you an innocent person no it does not but again take everything in consideration including her own actions before you pass judgment and last but not least whatever happened 17 years ago he had went to court and went to trial and was found not guilty for those actions. 2016, with the release of his movie, doesn't give you the right to go searching out that kind of trash and garbage and then bringing it forth and making a big issue out of it to diminish black history. Because that's what you're trying to do. And for those of you who are defending this girl you don't even know, not even a name of. <laughs> Damn. If you don't fall for something, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. That's the way it goes. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And so many of you black folks. Damn. But you white brothers and sisters, that's who I'm talking to. You guys are foul. You need to stand up and speak out against this too, though. As a matter of fact, I hope you go see the movie too. Because you should see it too. Because you're a part of this history. White folks, white Americans, you are part of this history too. The part of history involving the slave rebellion of Nate Turner. Your ancestors were a part of that. You should be seeing the film too. Go see Birth of a Nation by Nate Parker. Support the film. And again, if you want to have the conversation about rape, you have that conversation on the right platform. You call in those college students, those jocks. 
you call them all in, you call in this guy I just mentioned, David Becker, who only got two years probation, ask him to speak against rape, okay? Since he texted the, by the way, he texts the victims the next morning and told them he was sorry for the situation. So he acknowledged that he even did it. If you don't know about this case, look it up. It's a new one. It, they just <laughs> released this information. Two years probation, no jail time, because he's a white boy. How fair is that? To the victims, more importantly. So you white women, you black women, talk about that. And if not him, then talk about the guy, the white boy out of Stanford, who only got six months for rape. Stop bringing up Nate Parker when you have so many others to choose from. Woody Allen, there's so many to choose from that are white. And you guys are choosing black men to, as your examples. White supremacy, that's all this is. White supremacy, and you know what? Over my shoulder, I painted that. That's what you guys created. You got, you monsters did this to black people. This is what you, you guys created this. This plaque behind me, it says no colored allowed. You guys created that. White folks, white supremacy. This is some bullshit. The scandal with Nate Parker is much ado about nothing. Harry Belafonte was right in everything he said about the timing is awfully peculiar. Al Sharpton said the same thing. So many people are saying the same thing. Because this movie, after all, was the highest sold movie at the Sundance Film Festival at a staggering $17.5 million. Hmm. White supremacy, white supremacy got jealous. They got bent out of shape out of this one. Yeah. So... They're just trying to vilify Nate Parker. And everybody's trying to get Nate Parker to be the poster child or the spokesperson. No. You go get those white athletes from the colleges that get away with rape. Go get the white boy out of Palmer, Massachusetts, David Becker. 18-year-old white dude who got away with rape. Getting no jail time. Two years probation. Go get the white boy who committed a rape out of Stanford and got six months jail. And then those judges that sentenced these guys to these short periods of time, you whoop their ass. Justice. No, it's just us. It's not justice. It has nothing to do with justice. Just us. That's all this is. This is Guru. I'm out. I'm sick of this shit, though. Peace. Love. And positive thinking. I'm out. Peace.